Check these out, everyone. Finally have inventory in for the Pro Light Mods. I've got the two by three, the three by three, and the three by four models in. Unfortunately, the one by three and one by four uh, versions were incorrect from the factory. So I'm having to figure all that out. If you ordered, pre-ordered one of those sizes, you should have an email from me and we will you know, kind of figure out how to make that right. I'm uh, working on uh, getting those uh, taken care of in one form or another. Uh, I guess I should back up if you don't know <laughs> what these ProLite mods are. This is an example of one right here, set up on a light. And I will link up here a video uh, all about these ProLite mods from back in December, um, right before I think I opened up the pre-orders. And uh, you can watch that video uh, if you're interested and see kind of what I'm talking about today. Uh, and I wanna thank everyone who did place pre-order. Uh, your support, um, it really kind of helps make any of this, all of this uh, happen, um, both here just on this channel, um, period, and with products like this as a one-man show. It's, uh, it's a big undertaking to have something, you know, have an idea like this, go through everything to get it created, manufactured. Um, it takes a lot of money. And uh, the fact that almost 100 of y'all were willing to place a pre-order uh, on these products, it, it really means a lot to me. And all of your orders should be out of the door with the exception of those smaller uh, strip sizes. So thank you uh, so much. Um, yeah, I just, I really, I'm, I'm at a loss of, wor loss of for words, obviously, uh, when it comes to that. But I wanna jump on here, kind of real quick, follow up everything, letting, you know, just kind of letting people know that these are available now and that the, the people who did order, that their orders are on the way. Um, once you get your, your mods, I recommend that you watch the um, how to install video that is on the ProLite Mod website and I'll link it up here. That kind of goes through getting these um, as, as perfectly as possible on your soft boxes. Speaking of soft boxes, there's a list. If you haven't seen it before, I've got lists of these certain boxes that I've tried the mods in, which I know that they work in, and I've used them uh, on sets uh, for clients. And uh, so they're proven boxes. You might have uh, some of your own boxes, if you find that uh, you do have a box of a certain size and these do work in them, um, please shoot me a note and share that and I will add that to the list. Uh, it's just I, I could only do so many. <laughs> I've got just stacks of soft boxes, ones that worked and ones that didn't work in here. Uh, and I think I came up with a pretty good list of affordable boxes for uh, most of y'all out there um, looking to kind of jump in and, and be able to be able to provide these for your clients. Got a little cheat sheet here. Uh, along with watching that install video, uh, make sure you practice with these before you go out on a shoot, just so you can set your exposures right and get them to look the way that you want them to look in your photos. Uh, it's just, they're like anything else. Um, you kind of need to just get used to placement, uh, like the geometry, the layout uh, with your subject, how you want them to, um, to look. If you got more than you know two or so, you can put them in different formations. Uh, it just, it, I think it'd be a smart thing to kind of get those figured out before you get in front of your clients, and that way, um, you know, there are no surprises on set and everything goes smoothly. So, like any new camera, new flash, new you know modifier, just. Uh, treat these the same way and you know practice before you get out there. I'm planning on uh, putting together a video here in the studio about using these and I will, I might have it on the channel here, or it might just be on the website. I don't wanna um, bore people to death with <laughs> pro light mod content if they're not interested uh, in that content. So, but look for that uh, and I will send out um, through my socials and stuff like that. I'll let people know, let y'all know uh, when that video is available, so that might be just another reference. Um, what I'm gonna do is get a model in here, set up these ProLite mods, and we'll run through the exposures and, and different looks and stuff like that uh, that we can get by using these. And um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to answer most of your questions on the front end. 
with those types of videos and with the videos I've already done. If you do have, still have questions, um, feel free to, to shoot me a note and we'll get a conversation going and it might be something that I need to put out for, you know, add into an upcoming video. So y'all can leave those down in the comments below here too and that'd be great. One more little thing. So these come from the factory in these bags and they're folded up. So to avoid any kind of wrinkles and stuff, this is this material. Let me show one that I've got out. Uh, I did source this material as one that is resistant to those types of wrinkles. Um, this is one here that I pulled out of one of these bags and, and set up and you really, I mean, you can't see any wrinkles in it. Um, when you first pull it out, you might see a seam just because these have been packed in boxes on top of each other and they've been in those boxes for a little while now. Uh, but to alleviate that in the future, uh, what I would recommend is rolling these up. I've sh I think I showed this in one of my earlier videos and you can just put it uh, label, these things label side up, just on a flat surface and grab the edges and just roll them, roll them up. And then you'll see the corner adjust adjustment tabs here will hold the roll in place. And then what I do is use the bags that come with these soft boxes that you can store those in. And I put all that back into the bag to protect that. And then I just stuff this along with it and zip it up. And it's just really one uh, nice, neat, nice package. Uh, so that's, and let me say too, like the larger sizes, the three by three, depending on your, your case, and then the three by four, you can then kind of fold those in the middle uh, and that way you only have like one fold throughout that uh, mod and it's not uh, as it comes from the factory, which is in a lot of folds here. Just a little tip, that'll be the way that I store these, the way I've been um, you know, keeping these uh, around here just to kind of prevent you know, any kind of wrinkling from happening. Some of the older, the, the reason it's on top of my mind, some of the older fabric, some of the initial fabric that I use I was not very good at, at resisting those wrinkles and it then makes the circles, uh, it's, it's hard to get those circles uh, to maintain their circular shape. And the more wrinkles you have, the harder it is to maintain that integrity. I call it the circle integrity. And so um, just take care of them and they will should last a long, long time uh, and hopefully create some amazing images for y'all. And speaking of that, please feel free to tag the ProLite Mods um, account on Instagram and Facebook. When if you post an image, uh, tag me on there th with the ProLite Mods, and uh, I will share it on the ProLite Mods account uh, on Instagram and Facebook. So I, I can't wait to see what y'all create with these. Um, it's been it's been fun having them all to myself, I guess. But I want to. That was that's what this was all about. Was getting these out to y'all and seeing what y'all can come up with. And I really can't wait to see it and then share it. And um, I mean, that's just kind of what this channel is all about, sharing. And uh, it's so fun to be able to share a product like this that I know uh, works. And I've used it, as you can see, through uh, my accounts. Um, I've used it with professional athletes. Uh, and um, it's the results speak for themselves, I guess, in all kinds of different settings. Uh, and Anyway, that's, that's kind of about it. I think um, I've, I've covered it today. Uh, if, you, if you feel like this video is worthy, please give it that thumbs up for me. If you wanna see more content, I've got, I've got this guy in, the uh, R5C, and I've got the R5 here. Uh, and I thought what I would do is, I mentioned this on my uh, community page here on YouTube, is uh, talk about this camera, probably my next video. Next week I'm off uh, to Wisconsin for a big shoot with uh, a big NFL talent. Plan on taking the R5C, giving it a, a run through, and should have content when I get back from that. So y'all stay tuned, hit that subscribe button down there and the little notification bell. Like I said earlier, leave uh, any comments, questions down below. Thank y'all again for all the support. Uh, please, you know, in the meantime, stay safe and healthy out there and I will see y'all again in the next one.